Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Comment allez-vous? J'espère vraiment que vous allez bien. Hello, hello everyone. Bienvenue. Welcome. I really hope you're doing well as usual. So we're looking at the second part to our French verb conjugation basics series. We started with the verb être. We started by breaking, breaking down uh, French pronouns, right? And now we're learning how to conjugate the verb avoir. Okay, we are using this verb in descriptions, so descriptions will follow as well. So let's go. I hope that you are as excited. All you need to do is learn how to conjugate the verb avoir by song, and the rest will follow. Same principles in terms of agreement between the subject of the sentence with that pronoun or noun, je, and we're going to find out how to conjugate avoir right now with the different pronouns. Okay. I hope you're as excited as I am. On y va. Let's go. Okay, so we're looking at the verb avoir and how to conjugate it. But before we do that, we're going to go back over the different pronouns. So we have, first of all, je, which means I. We have tu, which is informal you. Il, elle, and on, he, she, and one. Il and elle can also mean it, okay? On can also mean we, by the way, but we just forget about that. We're not using on to mean we. We're using nous as it is more formal. So nous for we, vous for you, and il, elle for they. All right, so it's je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle. Je, I, tu, you. Il, elle, on, he, she, on, nous, oui, vous, you, il, elle, they. All right, so how do we conjugate the verb avoir with our good old regular French pronouns? First of all, we get je. We drop the e from the je and put a je apostrophe. Why? Because the je, e would be directly interacting with the a e from a. E, and that's not allowed. So we drop the e, add an apostrophe, and we get je. Next, we get tu, a. So je means what? The verb is avoir, which means to have. So, je is, I have. Tu as, you have. Il, elle, on a. He, she, one has. Nous avons. We have. Vous avez. You have. Il, elles ont. Il, ils ont, elles ont. Il, elles ont. They have. All right, I'm going to il, elle. Il is masculine plural, elle is feminine plural. So the song was that, the song that we learned was Je, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, ils ont. Je, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, ils ont. Okay. And then we put a twist to it as well, which we'll be doing in another session. So it's Je et I, tu as et S. Il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, ils ont, O, N, T. To help you to remember how to spell them. Let's go again. Je et I, il a. Je, tu as et S. Il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, ils ont, O, N, T. Alright, so when we get uh, the class in person, we will go over this and learn how to conjugate the verb by song and rhythm. Let's continue. Okay, so let's put what we just learned into practice, right? So we just learned how to conjugate the verb avoir. Let us put it into practice by completing the sentences by filling in the blanks with the correct form of the verb avoir. Now, number one says ma mère blank 40 ans, okay? 40 means 40. All right, so 40 ans would be 40 years. So you were saying my mother is 40 years old. We know that in French, to express age, we use the verb avoir, which is to have. So which form of the verb avoir would go in the blank space? Ma mère. Mm -hmm. You're going to ask yourself, which pronoun can substitute for ma mère? Which pronoun can substitute for ma mère? You're saying my mother. My mother is feminine singular, so the pronoun will be L without the S at the end. L, which means she, and not the L that means they. Okay? So that is a pronoun that can substitute for my mare. 
Now that we know which pronoun can substitute for my mare, we're going to put the correct form of the verb avoir in the blank space. So we'd, we'd say ma mère, elle, a. Ma mère a 40 ans. Okay, we're not putting elle in the sentence, we're just putting, we just find the pronoun so that we can properly conjugate the verb. Let's go again. Mon frère et moi, blank, les yeux, grand. Now there's only one strange word in here for you and that's les yeux. Les yeux means the things that you look out of. Yes, your eyes, not your glasses. Les yeux. Mon frère et moi, blanc, les yeux, grand. Now, you're going to ask yourself again, like we did with the verb it. What, which pronoun can substitute for mon frère et moi? And that would be nous. That would be nous, right? So you'd say mon frère et moi, blanc, les yeux, grand. Nous avons les yeux grands. Mon frère, moi, avons les yeux grands. Number three, il blanc 19 ans. Il, this is masculine plural. They are 19 years old, or they have 19 years, if literally translated, but we don't say that in English. We say they are 19 years old. It'd be ils ont 19 ans. O and T. We say ans because the S from il means the en from the verb avoir. Numéro 4, Monique et Sandra, Monique and Sandra, blank, les cheveux crépus. Monique et Sandra ont les cheveux crépus. Again, this is plural, Monique and Sandra, two females, so it will be feminine plural. Monique et Sandra ont les cheveux crépus. They have kinky curly hair. Les cheveux is here. Crépus is an adjective to describe here, which is kinky curly, like kinky, like persons of African descent. Les cheveux Crépus. Monique et Sandra ont les cheveux crépus. Number five is very easy. It would be, j'ai les cheveux noirs. What does that mean? J'ai les cheveux noirs. That means, I have black hair. Numéro six. Look et toi, blanc, les yeux verts. And that would be, look et toi, vous, vous avez les yeux verts. Look et toi avez les yeux verts. You and Luke have green eyes. Easy as one, two, three. Uh, practice exercise on the verb avoir will follow on a model. Get ready for it. All right, so everybody say decreer quelqu'un. Decreer quelqu'un. Decreer means to describe. Decreer quelqu'un. To describe someone describing someone okay so here are some questions that somebody can ask you that will indicate that you're you, they want you to describe somebody for them okay so it says il est comment everybody say that repetition s'il vous plaît il est comment what does he look like il est comment what does he look like next one what does she look like would be elle est comment elle est comment what does she look like all right both of those mean what does he or she look like? Il est comment? Comment est-il? Comment est-il? What does he look like? Comment est-il? What does she look like? Il est comment? Elle est comment? What does he or she look like? Okay? If I say elle est grande, what does that mean? Elle est grande. That means she's tall. If I say il est maigre, il est maigre. When I say it, just repeat. Il est maigre. Repetez, s'il vous plaît. Il est maigre. That means he is slim, he is skinny, he is thin. Il est maigre. Alright? And finally, if I say, Ils sont noirs. Ils sont noirs. That would mean, They are black. Okay? So you notice that the il, masculine singular, which is I-L, and the il, I-L-S, masculine plural, they sound the same orally. Right, because you don't pronounce the S's at the end of French words normally, right? So it's the verb that follows that will help you to identify if that il was masculine singular or masculine plural. You get what I'm saying? Right? Same thing with the L. You could say elle est mince. She is slim or skinny. And elles sont noires. The verb sont is different from E. You get what I'm saying? Il est maigre, he is slim, ils sont noirs, they are black. So, when you hear the F, you know that 
the il was a masculine singular il and we hear the il son noir the son indicates that it's a masculine plural il all right so this was a brief recap on the verb être and descriptions let us look at the verb avoir with descriptions all right with describing persons so when we're describing the hair which is les cheveux les cheveux is the hair when we're describing the hair and the eyes which is les yeux plural both of them are plural we're going to use the verb avoir okay previously we looked at describing somebody saying oh he is fat she is slim he's tall she's short she's medium built she's nice she's mean he is ugly he's young she's old that sort of thing right uh in terms of character he's kind she's kind we use the verb être with those but as it relates to the verb avoir we use it when we're describing someone's hair and we also use it when we're describing their eyes okay so as it relates to the hair when describing hair you're going to use the expression avoir les cheveux and then you add the color because you know that in french the adjective normally follows the noun right avoir les cheveux and then you state the color okay avoir les cheveux that's the expression so you're gonna conjugate the verb avoir then put les cheveux and then put the color of the hair so you seem to have this color here or that color here all right so for example we have here below we have right here lucy a les cheveux bruns what does that mean lucy a les cheveux bruns that means lucy has brown hair Lucy a les cheveux bruns. Lucy has brown hair. Now let's put it into practice and see what that means concretely. All right, let's just try to employ these expressions on our own. On Eva. Okay, so are you seeing it now? So here are some helpful adjectives to assist you in describing the hair. So we have masculine, feminine, and English. Now, even though you don't see me have the plural on the ta in the table, right, because here les cheveux is masculine plural, you know that the adjective you're going to be using has to be masculine plural, okay? Some of these have um, feminine versions. Why did I put this here? That's all. Take these out, sorry. So here are some helpful adjectives to help us describe the hair again. So for the length of the hair, your hair can be core. Everybody say core. Everybody say core. 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 All right, so we don't pronounce the T's at the end of the French words normally. So please note that we're not saying court, we're saying core. Core. Can I hear you say it? Repetition, vous plaît. Core. Poor. 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 Uh, poor. This word also exists in the family, and you can say court. 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 But you're not going to use court. The only time you pronounce a T is because an E follows it. We're not saying courte, right? We only go up with the pronunciation of the E. If it's an E with the accent, it grew over it, right? But there's no accent, accent over this one. What is the accent it grew? Let me show you what it is. Something you like that. That's why we say courte, courte, whatever that is. I don't know. That doesn't exist. I don't think so. All right. But we're not saying courte. We're saying court. We're just pronouncing the T. Now, please note, I'm not saying these. I'm not making these pronunciation distinctions for my health. They're very important as you go forward. Okay. So court and court. They mean short. You use court to describe like the here. You're not going to use poor necessarily to describe an individual in terms of their stature. You're going to say petit, all right? So poor for the hair. Everybody say long. 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 As opposed to long. Long. L-O-N-G-U-E. Long. That's a feminine version, okay? But we're focusing on the masculine column because we're talking about the hair. All right, everybody say Milan. 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 
and that's the mid length here all right then as it relates to color right you can use every single color on the spectrum color wheel right but there there are certain things i want you to note so if somebody's hair is red you're not going to necessarily see rouge you're not going to see rouge for somebody who has red hair you're going to see roux r-o-u-x r-o-u-x roux everybody see roux roux not, not bad at all. Everybody say Roo. Roo. All right. So if you're Roo. saying he has a red hair, what would you say? He has a red hair. How would you say that? Roo. Uh oh, oh, sorry. Il oh, okay. el, el es Roo. All right. You can say he's a red head. If you're saying he is a red head, you'd say il est Roo. Il right. a ru, il a ru. No, we're using the verb avoir in this class, right? So we're saying he has red hair. Il. Hold on, hold on. I heard somebody. Hold on, I heard somebody answering. Go ahead. That person was answering before. Who was that? Il a les Who is that? Rihanna. Rihanna. Très bien. Uh, pronunciation points need to work on though, but il a les cheveux roux. Very good. Il a les cheveux roux. He has red hair. Everybody with me? Everybody see what happened there? Il a les cheveux roux. He has yes, red hair. Now here's something to note as well. Somebody said il est roux. Sorry. Oh my God, I don't need to use this. I have my, my thingy. Hold on. Now you can say il est roux. That means he is a red head. Y'all watch these American shows. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Il est roux. He's a red head. Y'all know about red headed people. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like that. But you know about persons with red hair. You call them red heads, right? Everybody with me? Yes, miss. You know what I'm talking about? So a guy with red hair, you're going to say il est roux. He is a red head. All right. If she's, if it's a girl, you'd say what? What would you say if it's a girl? Il est, elle est russe. Not Russian. That's not Russian. That is, she is a redhead. All right. So it is possible to use the verb être with this as well. But that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the verb avoir. Everybody with me so far? Yes, yes. I'm going to clear these and I'm going to put it in context. So we're saying, il a les cheveux roux. Il a les cheveux roux. He has red hair. All right, everybody good on that? Yes, yes. All right, let's say he has... Let's, let's say we're saying she has, all right, let me finish this one first. I want to say brun. 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 I want to say chatin. 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 Okay, what does chatin mean? Light brown. Light. Light brown. Okay, Light lovely. Brown. I want to say blanc. Blanc. So just like um roux, just like roux, you can say he is blonde. You say il est blanc. You can also say she is blonde. You say elle est blonde. And you know that you're talking about a blonde haired girl, a blonde haired guy. Okay? Everybody with me so far? Yes, miss. Any yes, questions, miss. comments, queries, or concerns at this moment? No, miss. All right, lovely. All right, next we're talking about the texture of the hair. So the hair can be red. I want to say red. Miss, can you spell it, please? R E I D E. Thank you, miss.
R A I D E, that's street. All right, then you have Frise, F R I S E, with the accent in U, the accent X in U upwards. Frise, that is curly hair. All right, you can also say Bukli, Bukli. Everybody say Bukli. Okay. Okay. Everybody say freezy. Freezy. All right, and that is curly hair. All right, like little Miss Muppet who sat on the top of eating her curls and we or something like that. So freezy and boucle, curly. All right, then you have les cheveux crépus. Everybody say crépus. Crépus. A C R E with the accent circumflex, the accent with the roof on it, the roof accent, like that one over it. C R E, accent circumflex, P U, crip you. All right, and that's kinky curly Crip-y. hair. All right, that's kinky curly hair. So let's put it into context. So let's say we're saying she has short black hair. How do we say that? She has short black hair. Here. L L A uh, Ella Le Cheveu Court Corte Noir Noir Poor A Noir. Very good. But work on the pronunciation. Elle a les cheveux courts et noirs. But seeing that she has short black hair. Elle a les cheveux courts et noirs. She has short black hair. All right. Let's do another one. She has long black straight hair. Long straight black hair. Ella, le cheveu long, long, et. Ella, le cheveu length, color, texture. And give me the description, give me length, color, then texture. Ella, le cheveu long, uh huh. Noir, uh huh. Et. Et red, 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 right? Like the color red, red, you not read, that's the English pronunciation. All right, so elle a les cheveux longs, noir, et red. She has long black, well, long straight black hair. All right, elle a les cheveux longs, noir, et red. Everybody following what's happening here? Length, color, mm-hmm. texture. LCT, y'all. LCT, length, color, texture. When you're describing the hair, give me length, color, texture. Can we say that together? Length, color, texture. LCT, length, color, texture. All right? Everybody with me? Yes, Hello. Yes. Super. All right, let's say she has brown curly hair brown curly hair she has brown curly hair or curly brown hair l a uh, l a uh, le cheveu le cheveu brown brown uh-huh. brown Free, frizzy Eh? It's eh, frizzy. Eh, frizzy. Yes, miss. Elle a les cheveux bruns et frizzy. Elle a les cheveux bruns et frizzy. She has brown curly hair. Everybody with me on that one? Are we all following? I'd love to hear from somebody I haven't heard of yet. Okay, who is there? Rihanna, are you following? Or Rihanna, do you have a class right now, Rihanna? No, miss. Okay. 
Is everybody else following? If you're not following, please go ahead and raise your hand so I can know that you're not following. Go ahead, let me see those hands. If there's anybody who is not following. Marissa, are you following? Yes, miss. Okay, lovely. All right, let's do another one. She has long, black, kinky hair. She has long, black, kinky hair. She has a long black hair. Uh huh. Elle les cheveux. Uh huh. Long, long. 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 Uh huh. Noir. Uh huh. Eh. Eh. Bunkle. 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 <laughs> Boucle, 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 boucle. I right, love it. That's curly, but I want it kinky. Kinky would be crepu. And everybody say crepu. Crepe, crepe, All right. Everybody say crepe. Crepe is a, a like a really fat. It's not a pancake, but that's the closest thing you can identify it with. It's a French treat, like a dessert. Okay, you can have it with chocolate. With Nutella, which is a chocolate paste, uh, with different things, even ice cream, right? They put it on the inside. So, eh, so think of crepe. Everybody say crepe. 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 Now say crepe you. Crepe you. All right. So, elle a les cheveux longs, noir et crepe you. Length, color, texture. Everybody with me so far? Everybody getting this? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes. All right. Okay. Wonderful. So let's go on to the next slide. What time is it? Okay, lovely. No. Beautiful. How would we describe her hair? How would we describe her hair? Um, short and curly, brown yes. and black. Okay, so let's say her hair is brown and curly. How do you say her hair is brown and curly? Miss um, Sa. Oh. No, Sa. Hold on, let's 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 no, don't don't give me mm -hmm. like that. I, I see that you did your um your homework. That's very good. But we're not doing it like that right now. Give me the we had, we the way we've just been doing it. She has short curly hair. She has short curly hair. How do we say that? L L A Alex Chivu. L Alex Chivu. This is Ella Le Cheveux. Brown Ed Crepe. Brown. Ella Le Cheveux. Sorry, it should be Le. Ella Le Cheveux. Brown Ed Crepe. It should be Le. Ella Le Cheveux. Brown Ed Boucle. She has brown curly hair. How do you say? How do you describe her her hair? Short and black. She has short black hair. What about the texture of her hair? It looks kinky. Okay. So what would you say about her hair? How do you, how do you, how do you describe her hair in a sentence? Has Hold on. I want to hear from somebody. Yes, Nakela. Go ahead, Nakela. She has um short black. Black here. So how do you say that in French now? Elle a Elle a les cheveux. Les cheveux, les cheveux. Uh -huh. Elle a les cheveux. Go ahead. Mm. Corte. 
four. Four. Noir. Noir. Uh huh. It freeze. Freeze. Eh. Eh. Freeze. Crazy, but we say crepe you. Crepe you is kinky here. I know that for some people, kinky um, is like denigrating. It's something negative. But uh, I don't accept that. I just accept my hair the way it is. If my hair is crepe you, it's crepe you. If it's curly, it's curly. Whatever it is, it is. All right. And I love my crepe you here, my kinky hair. All right. So, elle a les cheveux courts, noir et crepe you. She has short, black, kinky, curly hair. All right. Elle a les cheveux courts, noir et crepe you. So, crepe you is normally for persons of African descent with like uh, those tight coils and tight curl patterns that makes your hair really, um, the curl is really tight. Okay. So, crepe you is normally for those persons of African descent. All right. Uh, you have some persons who have more frizzy hair, like more curly, 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 not necessarily crepe you, but more curly right or more straight so it's not that it's not as tight a curl as um someone with african descent who has really tight curls that like it shrinks and all that stuff right here i mean sound like some hair technician or some hair specialist okay no right so that's that all right let's look at the next one elle a les cheveux pour Noir, crepe Length, color, texture, LCT. Oh la la. Let's look at this one. So how would you describe the first picture? What, 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 what would you say about her hair? Long, brown, and straight. Okay, so she has long, brown, straight hair. How would we say this one for the for the first one? How would it say? L. Uh, yeah, go ahead. L. Uh, L. Uh, long. L. Uh, long. Take it easy. Oh. And uh, what? What is long? L. Uh, Les cheveux. Yes, il a les cheveux. What you said, Miss Brown here? Yeah, describe how you think it looks. Il a les cheveux, what? Long. Uh huh. Uh huh. Long. Um. Long. Color now. Brown. Uh huh. Brown. You also see. Eh. Red. Red. She has long brown, or you could even say light brown, but there needs to be um a roof over this one. I can't get it with my two complex. She has long brown straight hair. Okay. Elle a les cheveux longs, bruns, châtains et raides. Sorry, elle a les cheveux longs, bruns ou châtains, or châtains, or light brown. Et red. Elle a les cheveux longs, bruns et red. She has long brown, long straight brown hair. Okay. Um, all right. And this one you say, elle a les cheveux courts, bruns et red. What about her? Quickly, come on. Somebody who hasn't spoken as yet. Kelisa, are you there? Have I heard from you, Kelisa? Kiara, are you there? Have I heard from you? Michaela, Michaela, Ria, Renique, Tonyan, Caitlin. Alicia, what is happening? Somebody else, quickly. In five. Can I do this, miss? Go ahead. Ella, les cheveux. Les cheveux, les cheveux. Les cheveux. Uh 
-huh. Long H brown. L A les cheveux. Uh -huh. Long et brown. She's blonde hair. That looks like blonde hair to me. How do you say? How do you say blonde? Blonde. A blonde. A blonde. Okay. What about the texture of her hair? And I need to be long, blonde, and what? It looks like straight hair to me. How do you see that? And I need to be long, blonde, and what is it, guys? Come quickly, let's go. And one more thing to look at. And I need to be long, blonde, and what? Red. 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 Yes. And I need to be long, blonde, and red. She has long. Blonde, long, straight blonde hair. What? Yeah. Okay. So, on y va. Il a les cheveux blancs, il a les cheveux longs. All right. So, you're going to do this one for Homer. Just screenshot it or something. When I'm going to post it and you'll see it. But let's do it now. She has straight black hair. How do you say she has straight black hair? Let's do it together. She has straight black hair. How do you say that? Lucy has straight black hair. That would be Lu Lucy. Yeah. Uh huh. Lucy. Red. Les cheveux. Oh, no. les les cheveux. cheveux. Remember the expression is avoir les cheveux and then the color. Avoir les cheveux and then the color. So start with the les cheveux. Lucy a les cheveux. Uh huh. What next now? Lucy a les cheveux. Straight black hair. Red. Length, color, length, color, texture. Et la les cheveux. Noir. Thank you very much. And what? Eh. Red. Uh -huh. Red. Red. Lucy a les cheveux noir et red. Remember LCT, length, color, texture. All right. Next one. Jean has blonde hair. Go ahead, one person. Jean has blonde hair. How do we say that? Length, color, texture, LCT. Let's go. Jean has blonde hair. Jean? Uh-huh. A des cheveux. Very good. Les cheveux, however. Work on the pronunciation. Jean and les cheveux. Uh-huh. Blonde. Blonde. Long. Okay. Next one, we have red hair. How do you say we have red hair? Nous avons. Very good, nous avons. Les, chev les cheveux. Les cheveux, uh huh. Very good, très bien. Blue. Très bien, parfait. Very good pronunciation as well. Très bien, c'est parfait, bravo. Nous avons les cheveux roux. We have red hair. All right, what about she has brown curly hair? She has brown curly hair. Let's go with that one. She has, how do you say she has? Come on. Ella. Ella, Ella. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ella, now we're saying here. Les cheveux. Les cheveux. So in French, you're saying she has hair brown curly. Okay, she has hair, elle a les cheveux. What's next? Avoir les cheveux, then color, length, color, texture. Elle oh. a les cheveux, brun, uh huh. What next? Eh. 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 Très bien, bouclé. You can say bouclé or you can say frisé. Ah, non, c'est Everybody following me so far? Elle a les cheveux bruns et bouclé or frisé. Frisé. All right. How about Nancy and I have kinky brown hair? Well, how do you say that one? Nancy and I. Let's start there. Nancy and I. Let's go. Nancy and I. How do we say that? What's the name? Who's that? No, no. Nancy and I. How do you say Nancy and I? No. Nancy and H. Apel S. My name is. Nancy A. How do you say and I? Come on. Let's go. Nancy and I. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Nancy and moi. Come on, you know this. Nancy and moi. Nancy and I. 
Oh, do you say have now? No, see more. Uh huh. Have. Brown. Avant. Très bien. No, see more. Avant. Oh, do you say king? We don't get to the description yet. Hold on. Here, length, color, texture. Brown. Les cheveux. Les cheveux. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. so cute. Okay, non moi avant les cheveux et All right, good job. Some of you are jumping to the color and the texture before you can even say les cheveux. Come on. You need to focus on those, all right? So this is a this was good job. I mean this was this wasn't that easy, but you did fairly well. You did pretty good as a matter of fact. You did very well. So we all need to work on before we jump to the color of the hair. Please ensure that we put the word here. All right. That happens so often in French when the students are writing and describing hair color. Before you even say les cheveux, the hair here, you jump in to put the color. Be very careful about that. All right. Nous avons rouge. Les cheveux, no, it's here. Length here. color texture. Length color texture. Yeah. Okay. Just mute all of your microphones, please, because I'm getting your feedback. All right. So we have les cheveux. Okay. We have here red. All right. So the adjective always comes okay. after the noun. Even though we say the no. adjective first and the noun in English, it's we have red here in English. In French, we say we have here red. Everybody with me on that? L'apparence physique. Vous êtes là? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Ça va? Vous êtes là? Are you there? L'apparence physique. Yes, We're talking yes. about the physical appearance, right? And we looked at the hair just now. Now we're going to be looking at the eyes. Now there's a structure that we have. Avoir les yeux. So have... Color. Eyes. Okay. Avoir les yeux, and then you put the color at the end. All right. So avoir les yeux, color at the end, just like we did with the hair. All right. So let's go. Where is this? On y va. So we all know the different colors, right? This is a blue. Don't forget the brilliant before. That's fine. So blue. Okay. So if we're saying he has blue eyes, we would say, il a les yeux bleus, all right? The expression is avoir les yeux color. Il a les yeux bleus. Everybody with me on that one? Ça va? Vous êtes très silencieux, hein? You are very silent. Il a les yeux bleus, he has blue eyes. Next one. Il a les yeux, how do you say gray? Gris. Yeah, Gris. Right, it's not, remember, we do not pronounce the S's at the front end of French words. Yes. It would be, il a les yeux gris. Il a les yeux gris. Okay. Il a les yeux gris. Okay, this is Elle. Fine, it's a woman. Maybe because her eyebrows look so touched up. Elle a les yeux gris. All right. <laughs> Next one. What color is that? That is brown. How do we say, she has brown eyes? She has brown eyes. Come on. Ella les yeux brown. All right. She, elle a les yeux brown. All right. She has brown eyes. Elle a les yeux brown. Okay. If we're saying she has big brown eyes, we we'll see in. A les yeux grand et grand. So you put the size first and then the color. Elle a les yeux grand et brun. Everybody with me? Size then color. Elle a les yeux grand et brun. She has big brown eyes. Let's say she had small gray eyes. What would, what would we say? We notice that les yeux is plural. So we have les yeux grands. With an S and brown with an S as well. Is everybody seeing that? Is everybody noticing that? 
Oui, non, peut-être. Yes, no, maybe. Allô? Mr. T, what you said, please? You're going to put the size first and then the color. So, elle a les yeux grands et brun. She has big brown eyes, size then color. If she had small gray eyes, what would we say? Elle a what? Elle a les yeux small. How do you say small? Petite. Very good. Petite, not petite. Petite is the E one. Petite. Okay, she has small. How do you say gray now? Thank you very much. Elle a les yeux petit et gris. She has small gray eyes. Everybody seeing what's happening here? So for the hair, it is length, color, and texture. And for the eyes, it is size, then color. Everybody see that? Everybody following me? Yes, miss. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do a little listening practice, a little fun game quiz me all right so it's called seki and that is who is it who is it all right so you're gonna écouté puis identifier le personnage écouté puis identifier le personnage listen and then identify the person who's been described okay so we're gonna start it off with some hair color yes yeah, so let's start with some hair color okay so the first one Il a les cheveux courts et blonds. Il a les cheveux courts et blonds. Now there are quite a few guys here who got les cheveux courts et blonds. What, what is that? What is that sentence saying? All right. So the entire thing is il a les cheveux courts et blonds. Il a des franges. What is des franges? What does il a les cheveux courts et blonds mean? Des franges. I'm not gonna tell you just yet. So let's look at the first criteria. Il a les cheveux courts et blancs. Okay, let me show you which guys have les cheveux courts et blancs. He has short blonde hair. Okay, so Mark has blonde hair, but those ain't short. And then you have Aurélien. He has short blonde hair. And then you have Sylvain. He too has short blonde hair. So we have three, gra three guys here, cool? Now, the defining characteristic is Il a des franges. Il a des franges. Des franges. What is une frange? That is bang, bang, bang. A bang of fringes if you're in the UK. Il a des franges. He has bangs. So, who is it? Il a les cheveux courts et blancs. Il a des franges. The answer would be Aurélien. Bravo! If you got that right, congrats. On to the next one. Okay. Deuxième essai, second try. So we're saying, c'est qui? Who is it? Écoutez, puis identifiez le personnage. Listen, listen to the sentence and then identify the person. Okay? Il a les cheveux courts, noirs et raides. Il a les cheveux courts, noirs et raides. Il a une moustache. Il a une moustache. What is that saying? Il a les cheveux courts. Noir et red. What does that mean? He has short black hair. Sh short, straight black hair. Red, straight. Il a les cheveux courts, short hair. Noir, black hair. Red, straight. So who has short, black, straight hair? Henri has hair like that. His hair is straight. Hugo also has hair like that. Right? Robert has brown hair. George has black hair too, but his hair is more curly. Fabrice has brown hair. What else does it say? So, these two guys have short black hair. That's straight. But, qui a une moustache? What is une moustache? Une moustache. That is a mustache. Une moustache. A mustache. So, 
Il a les cheveux courts, noirs et raides. Il a une moustache. What is the answer? C'est Hugo. C'est Hugo. Hugo a les cheveux courts, noirs et raides. Il a aussi une moustache. Did you get that? So Hugo has short black streaks here and he also has a moustache. Une moustache. Please note the vocabulary. On to the next one. On y va. Et maintenant, le numéro 3. Let's see what we have here. Il a les cheveux courts et roux. Il a des taches de rousseur. Note the vocabulary. Il a les cheveux courts et roux. Il a des taches de rousseur. What is the sentence saying? Il a des cheveux, des cheveux courts. So you know that is right now. Short et roux. So he has short red hair. He's a redhead. Il a des taches de rousseur. So who are the two redheaded guys? Okay, I just gave it that away. There are actually three. You have Albert here. Not Einstein. You have Olivier. And let's put Paul in the mix. This here could pass as red, I believe. Okay? So Albert, Paul, and Olivier. But who is the one with des taches de rousseur? Répétez, des taches de rousseur. Des taches de rousseur. So il a les cheveux courts et roux. Il a des taches de rousseur. He has short red hair. And he also has freckles. He has freckles. Oh my God, Thibault has freckles as well. You see that on his face, those are freckles. Albert here has got them too. So who is it? It is none other than, who is it guys? Oui. Il a les cheveux courts et roux. Il a des taches de rousseur. C'est... Oui, d'accord, tout à fait, c'est Albert, c'est Albert, les cheveux courts, les cheveux roux, et des taches de rousseur, triple whammy, it is Albert, I hope you got that one right, let us continue, on y va. Ok, le numéro 4, le numéro 4. Il a les cheveux noirs et bouclés. Il a les cheveux noirs et bouclés. What does that mean? He has curly black hair. Ooh, who has curly black hair? Let's see. We have hair. Thibault has curly black hair. And Georges also has curly black hair. All right? Mark's hair is curly, but it is long. Blonde. All right, so we have two persons to choose from here. All right, so il a les cheveux noirs et bouclés. Il a les yeux marron. Now you notice that marron does not have an S on at the end of it. That is deliberate because marron does not change in terms of gender or number. All right, marron is an exception to the rule with adjectives that agree in gender and number with the noun. Les yeux is the noun. Marron, however, does not change in gender and number. It's one of those exceptions, as you, as you know, because we did colors already. So, il a les yeux marron. That is defining the defining characteristic. So, what does that mean, il a les yeux marron? It means he has brown eyes. So, who has les cheveux noirs et bouclés et les yeux marrons? Les cheveux noirs et bouclés. Thibault or is it Georges? It is... Bravo, tout à fait, c'est Georges, c'est Georges, vous êtes tellement intelligent, vous. Oui, you are so intelligent, so smart, wonderful. I'm sure you knew that was Georges. How would we describe Thibault? We would say, il a les cheveux courts, noirs et bouclés. Il est de peau blanche, he's white skinned. Il a les yeux bleus, he has blue eyes. And what else is there about Thibault? He has freckles. Il a des taches de rousseur. Thibault a des taches de rousseur. Voilà, voilà, you're getting so good at this. Let's continue, keep it up. Wow!
All right, le numéro 5. Il est chauve et il a une moustache. Il est chauve et il a une moustache. Chauve, 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 chauve. What does that mean? Il est chauve et il a une moustache. Now we know what moustache is. We know that moustache means a moustache. Moustache, moustachio, moustachio, si aussi, yeah. Et il a un moustache aussi, yeah. So Robert, Hugo, Yves et Pierre, les, les quatre, all four of them, ils ont des moustaches. They have moustache, a moustache, okay? So, the sentence is saying, il est chauve et il a une moustache. What does chauve mean? Chauve means bald. Il est chauve, shine it, you know? Head shine, no hair. Yeah, so it is between Pierre and Yves. Okay, so il est chauve, il a une moustache. He is bald and he has, he has a moustache, okay? So I would say the answer is Eve. but just now looking at it, I'm realizing that, guess what? Pierre has both a moustache and a beard. The sentence does not ask only, well, the sentence only mentions a moustache. I didn't think of that before. But guess what? I'm going to say, say Ivan because the sentence does not mention a beard. So, il est chauve et il a une moustache. C'est qui? C'est... Voilà. Voilà, voilà. C'est Yves. It is Yves, voilà. It is not Pierre. Pierre has also a barbe. Une barbe, a beard. Okay? So, il a une moustache et il est chauve. C'est Yves. Let's continue. All right, so we're bringing the house down. Let's go and see this one, all right. Numéro 6. Il a une barbe et une moustache. Il est chauve. Il a une barbe et une moustache. Il est chauve. C'est qui? C'est Dead Giveaway. It is... Pierre. Oui, c'est Pierre. We just did it in the previous one. Il a une barbe. Check. Il a une moustache. Check. Il est chauve. Check. Ça va, ça va, ça va. C'est Pierre. C'est clair. On y va. C'est gagné. Vous avez gagné quoi? Vous, you, you just won. Félicitations. Congratulations. Okay? So, c'est Pierre. On y va, on continue. Let's go to the next one. Oui, on y va. Des nouvelles photos, new pictures, new pictures. Let's go. So the field girls now. Okay, donc elle a deux couettes. Elle a deux couettes. Elle a les cheveux marrons et crépus. Elle a deux couettes. Elle a les cheveux marrons et crépus. C'est qui? Who is it? C'est qui? Qui est? Qui est? C'est qui? Let's see who it is. Deux couettes. Les cheveux marrons et crépus. I'm going to pass it through the pause and check it for yourself and then check the answer. C'est... C'est Sam, hein? C'est Sam? C'est Sam? It is Sam. It's Sammy girl! What is the sentence saying? It says, Elle a deux couettes. Elle a deux couettes. What is a couette? It is a ponytail. One, two. So Sam has two couettes. She has two ponytails. Alright, who else has ponytails in here? We have Sarah with ponytails. She has two ponytails. We have Kirsty with two ponytails. We have Rachel with two ponytails. And then we have Belle, but she only has one ponytail. Une quit. Rachel has just one ponytail. Une seule quit. So she did not qualify. All right. So we have four girls up in here with two ponytails avec deux quits. Right. But then we have a defining characteristic. It says. Elle a les cheveux marron et crépus. What does that mean? Home girl has got some brown hair. 
that's kinky curly all right so Belle has one ponytail unicorn so it's a match back. she's no longer qualified Sarah and I do me she's blonde Rachel got long hair black hair Kirsty got brown hair but it's not confused it had to be Samuel Sam got that kinky curly pretty ponytail hair all right you get that okay and I'll continue that that down here the last one okay the down here Ella en chignon Ella en chignon Elle a les yeux verts Elle est de peau noire Elle a en chignon Elle a les yeux verts Et elle est de peau noire C'est qui C'est qui Who is it I'm going to fast with free to pause again If you don't want me to you know spoil it for you and give me the answer so it is elle a en chignon elle a les yeux verts elle est de peau noire all right who is it what is en chignon we're gonna find out eh ben c'est ashley vous savez pas you didn't know it was ashley yo it's ashley c'est ashley now what is the sentence saying on chignon that is a bun a bun these are hairstyles that we wear all the time no matter what ethnicity we are all right so on chignon is ashley ashley has on chignon she has a bun all right uh meredith also has a bun granted she has a scarf thing over her head sabrina has a bun sabrina and ashley look alike too and then Yoko, elle est japonaise, quoi. She seems to be Japanese. She has a bun too, right? But then we have some defining characteristics, okay? So it says, elle a les yeux verts. What does that mean? She has, she got them green eyes. I don't know what color Meredith's eyes are. I can't really see them. There's something blocking her face. We're gonna take her out. Sabrina's eyes look brown. Take those out too. So that leaves us with Yoko and Ashley, right? So Yoko has green eyes and Ashley has green eyes, but she had the point noir. Who is black skinned? It ain't Yoko. No girl. It's Ashley. Alright, so elle est de peau noire, elle a les yeux verts, et elle a en chignon. Guess what? Vous êtes prêts, hein? You are so ready to like describe your family members and um your dog and your cats and your birds and everybody. So you're gonna describe your family now. Right, you're gonna describe your best yourself, your best friend, and a member of your family in French. Okay, I'm gonna post it on Modo, just you know, just mash it up, you know. Yeah, all right, on y va. All right, so we have just about finished or the topic of descriptions, the description physique, physical descriptions, et l'apparence physique, physical appearance. But before you go, s'il vous plaît, rappelez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Rappelez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Please remember, Kung Pao Chicken says, la description physique. <laughs> Kung Pao Chicken, what? Okay. All right. So, petit versus petite. You're going to use the verb être when you're describing, when you're talking about, like, physical descriptions. This is to let you know that you can also use the verb être to describe hair color. In more Caucasian countries, you hear them say things like, oh, she's a redhead, he's a redhead, she's a redhead, she's blonde, he's blonde, she's a brunette, okay, and he has a brown hair. I'm not sure if guys can be brunettes. So this is what we have going on right here, masculine versus the feminine form. Roux as opposed to rousse. He's a redhead versus she's a redhead. Il est blanc versus elle est blonde. And il est brun versus elle est brune. All right, so we can use the verb être to describe hair color as well, right? But for now, I, I we're gonna practice using the verb avoir. So for example, if we're saying he is a redhead, we're not saying he has red hair. Il a les cheveux roux, he has red hair. We're saying he is a redhead, okay? It's expressing the same idea, but in a different way. He's a redhead, we say il est roux, right? And then to say she's a redhead, we say elle est rousse. And we have here the agreement between the subject pronoun 
and the adjective rousse goes with l okay agreement l feminine so rousse has to be feminine as well roux il all right so the same thing would go with blonde you say il est blanc versus elle est blonde okay you'd say as well il est brun versus elle est brune this is just to let you know that you can also use être for hair color there are limitations because if you want to say oh elle a, she has long hair you then go and say elle a les cheveux longs elle a les cheveux longs all right so you could say elle est rousse et elle a les cheveux longs she's a redhead and she has long hair all right so there you go so you're just about ready to describe your family Bon courage et à la prochaine. Bisous, bye bye.